Welcome back to Greater Ohio's blog. Today we kind of wanted to talk about something that's been in a lot of news articles recently, and that's the state budget. Um, there's been a lot of issues surrounded about it, and we just wanted to try and shed light on what's going on. So, Gene, what are your comments about that, or what are your insights? Well, first of all, um, the administration and both chambers of the General Assembly have their work cut out to cut out for them to a degree that most citizens of Ohio simply do not understand or appreciate the tremendous, difficult job they're going to have to face. Um, they're looking at a budget shortfall that is, if each year of the fiscal year is two billion dollars. Oh wow! Now, now what is is that a, a significant proportion compared to the rest? That would of the budget, be that would be it's... a full ten percent. Okay. And that would be um, uh, on top of what I'm going to guess and say is probably been close to about seventeen percent previous reduction. Okay. So, so we're looking easy. we're looking here at a tremendous, you know, and people say, well, you can, can't you just cut things? And I go, yes, but I mean, even if you, you know, and I have to give full credit, the Columbus Dispatch a week ago ran a series on this and they just ran down. We, you could eliminate the Department of Agriculture. You could eliminate the governor's office, the General Assembly. You could eliminate mental health. Yeah. You could eliminate, you know, all of these various agencies and it still barely balanced the budget, but only by looking you can hold harmless things like education, prisons. This is it's going to be an extraordinarily difficult issue for them. However, the, the main concepts of the Restoring Prosperity effort that we need to stop thinking about treating economic development dollars like peanut butter spread upon bread, just spread them out thinly and evenly. Where are we going to get the most bang for our buck? All state programs should be looked at from a cost-benefit analysis to a certain degree, which is a layman's terms for looking at this, okay? Okay, so you're saying doing a cost-benefit analysis and then cutting where the cost is not, looking, the benefit doesn't overdo. I'll, I'll give you a case in point. Um, you know, if we can go ahead and redirect more investment back to our existing city boundaries, Okay. rather than engaged in activities that encourage sprawl. Yeah. You know, every time you do anything that encourages sprawl, well, you have to build, you know, you have to build new roads to reach out to it. As the population moves out, you have to build new firehouses, new police stations, new schools. You know, you're, you have to drag with you your whole infrastructure out there to the green space. We already have infrastructure existing inside of our city boundaries. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and do things in a really cost-effective manner, you go ahead and look at inside your current city boundaries. Okay. What can you go? How do you go ahead and do adaptive reuse? Okay. okay. It goes. It goes back to our pre. Well, our previous blogs. Means how did I get into this whole thing? You know, because if you want to save farmland, you make cities a more attractive place to live. One of the things I did when I was in the house that got me started on this whole thing, I did a analysis of where I was getting the most amount of hate mail about taxes. Okay. Where were people complaining the most about their taxes? They were complaining about their taxes the most on the extreme exurban communities. Butler County, Westchester, Union Township in Claremont County, Delaware County, Licking, Fairfield County, Medina, Geauga County, Lake County, Warren okay. County. That wherever wherever you had this you know sprawl going on, that was where you were getting your tax revolt. Okay, and why is that? Because the costs are so high, we're having to replicate all of our infrastructure, okay. all of our quality of life, all over again. And the thing that we're looking at here is saying, how do we target this? Okay, so in a declining state budget that's receiving cuts, restoring prosperity is essentially saying we need to see where we can redirect investment through cost-benefit analysis, and we're proposing that it will be in the cities where we'll get the most bang for our buck. And what we're, what we're really asking for is just apply this as a, if you will, like a guiding philosophy, initially, okay. as you work through your budgetary crisis here in Ohio. It's going to be a phenomenally difficult thing. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And I mean, in crisis, you can have a lot of change. So. You can. And by the way, one other thing is that the uh, Governor Strickland 
has said very emphatically, we will live within our means. Yeah. And the president of the Senate, Bill Harris, has stated at least three times in one public meeting, the Senate will not support any new taxes. So you will not see us, you know, the governor's made the point, you know, you know, tax, you're increasing taxes at this difficult time may be counterproductive. Yeah. So. Well, there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in our blog, and we will see you next week. Thanks.